Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner at Atlas V. We begin this week on a launch pad at Florida's Cape Canaveral. It was there that aerospace giant Boeing joined SpaceX as a viable shuttle service for NASA. A duo of test pilots blasted off for the International Space Station, where NASA astronaut Sonny Williams gave a VIP tour of Starliner. Here we are. Looks like a lot of bags because there's a lot of packing and also this big orange thing, which is our ventilation that we get uh, from the space station while we are docked to the space station. Here we are in the front, sitting in the cockpit. Williams went on to show the controls in the cockpit while mission commander and fellow NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore highlighted emergency equipment as well as the need to keep things tidy. So this is Saturday. So as you see a vacuum cleaner here, like most people clean their homes, we have to clean the space station as well. So we've been scurrying around, a lot of the crew has been doing various things, vacuuming and taking care of stuff. And when it's all completed, of course, all this will be put away and be ready for the work week. Williams and Wilmore are due back in the coming days. Also this week, new studies show that space tourists and amateur astronauts endure the same bodily changes as the professionals who spend months in orbit. Researchers came to this conclusion after studying samples of blood, saliva, skin, and more from passengers on SpaceX's three-day Inspiration4 charter in 2021. But researchers say that's not a bad thing, as the body can bounce back to normal. This is very good news for commercial space travelers, people who want to go to space that are looking at these upcoming missions that would go potentially around the moon and farther into space, because it shows that the human body is very adaptive. And even if you're not uh, Olympic athlete level or been training for 10 years to be an astronaut, you can head up into space and actually the body will adapt and you can come back pretty safely. Finally, this week, we say goodbye to spaceflight pioneer and once NASA astronaut Bill Anders, who flew aboard the Apollo 8 mission. He is perhaps best known for capturing the iconic Earthrise image as the crew circumnavigated the moon. Anders and the crew of Apollo 8 did not land on the moon, but the mission was a success as they reached orbit before landing back on Earth. The 90-year-old Anders died when the small plane he was piloting crashed in Washington state. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.